that's why so today we discuss regarding the anatomy and physiology of estrogen and progesterone so regarding the estrogen so estrogen is a female sex hormone so that can promote the development and maintenance of the female characteristics and as well as the sexual functions so the estrogen it is a steroidal hormones so that was synthesized from the ovaries that was synthesized from the adrenal cortex and as well as from the placenta so estrogen it is mainly avoid the ovulations or pregnancy okay estrogen it is also involved in the development of the secondary sexual organs as well as characters so characters and the development of the organ so that was depending upon the amount of estrogen or the estrogen it is required for the to maintain the fertility in the woman so lack of the estrogen so that woman is suffering from the infertility also so as the age is going on the amount of estrogen secretion in the woman body so that was a decline okay so in this graph so we can easily you can note down in the mid age that is the after puberty starting of puberty to up to the age of 45 okay so the estrogen level is high it is the actually the good field for the pregnancy okay so after that the 45 so the as the age is going on the amount of secretions of estrogen so that was decreases some authors or researchers so they have suggested that so as the age is going on per year so the concentrations of estrogen 1 mg that can be declined in the daily output okay so regarding the types of estrogen so there are mainly two types steroidal and non steroidal steroidals are estradiol estrone and estroids so these are the endogenous also known as then non steroidal so there are natural genoestrogen so certain plant so they contain the estrogen that was known as the phytoestrogen and also certain microorganism they involved in the synthesis of estrogen that was the microestrogen and also synthetically we can synthesize the estrogen to avoid the ovulations or fertilizations of the ovums okay so we the sorry the estrogen is mainly secreted in the woman body from the ovaries and also certain little amount so that was secreted from the adrenal cortex and as well as the placenta so regarding the functions of the estrogen so estrogen is mainly play so it promote the that is the formations of female secondary sex characters so as well as the estrogen it can accelerate the all the metabolism so regarding the carbohydrates proteins and lipids so that metabolism is helpful for to maintain the or to increase the bmr so bmr was helpful for the the development of the body so estrogen is also increase the fat stores it can enhance the depositions of the fat so that was opposed by the sometime progesterones or even the progesterone it can favor the uh, accumulations of the bad fat and that time the estrogen can be opposes but overall the estrogen it can increase the fat stores and also the estrogen it can stimulate the endometrial growth that was required for the formations of the ovum or egg in the female so that was stimulated by the estrogen so due to stimulation or growth of the endometrial matrix so they are in the presence of estrogen finally so they are converted into ovum so then that ovum is required for the fertilizations when they are contact with the sperms so that's why the estrogen it was involved in the play an important role release and increase the formation of the ovum and estrogen is also increase the uterine growth 
so uterine organ so that was the growth so that was depending upon the amount of the estrogen or estrogen level in the female so even the estrogen it can increase the vaginal lubrications then as well as it can thicken the vaginal wall and also it is helpful for to maintenance of vessel and skin the skin is healthy or it is the always glowing so that is the glow on the skin in the female that was mainly depending upon the estrogen so as the age is going on the glow in the females so that on the face especially that was decreases due to lack of the estrogens and estrogen secretion from these organs like ovaries adipose tissues and placenta okay even adrenal cortex so that was mainly depending upon the mental status or brain condition of that woman if she is under stress then there is abnormalities in the estrogen so then the early age so they look like a old age so that's why you should be or your patient always advise to your patient always that should be the free from the stress and also the estrogen it can reduce the bone resorption and increase the bone formations so the bone resorptions means so that was there is a release of the calcium from the bone okay so that process was inhibited by estrogen and instead of that it can enhance the depositions so that's why the bone formation is increases under the influence of the estrogens so estrogen is also reduce the muscle mass okay estrogen is also it can reduces the vessel mass mus, sorry the muscle mass so that was helpful for to maintain the or to decrease the ovate in the female if that female is having the good content of the estrogen so there is a no body weight can be increases so next one we can go for regarding the uh, that is the prost uh, progesterone the progesterone is the another female sex hormones that is also required for the development of the secondary sexual characters and as well as the secondary sexual organs so like estrogen the progesterone is also involved in the or synthesized from the ovaries as well as adrenal cortex and placenta so estrogen it mainly helpful for to maintain the pregnancy so that's why so during the pregnancy the progesterone level is increases and progesterone it can oppose the that is the fat decrease effect of the estrogen so that's why so during the pregnancy only the female they can put on the or they can gain the more weight due to more secretions of the progesterone if it is lack secretions or less secretion then the abortion is occurs once again so these progesterone so there are two types that is the steroidal they are synthesized from the cholesterol those are known as the uh, progestogens are in our bo human body so that is also synthesized from the cholesterol so that was known as the progesterone and non steroidal that was the progestin it was synthesized synthetically okay so regarding the progesterone functions the progesterone it was play an important role in the to retain the bone density it can enhance the bone density or it was involved in the development of the bone and the progesterone it is also produce the sedative and hypnotic effect in the cns that is sleeping effect or it can relax the brain so due to that it can produce the calming effect in the brain so that's why the females are more calm and silent simply so as compared to the male so that is the role of the progesterone so they are not irritate in a simple simple single single words but the male so they having the lack of progesterone so due to that they are easily irritate easily they are shouting as compared to the female 
that was the one of the beneficial effect of the progesterone in the cns it was create the calming effect in the brain and also the progesterone it can support the circulatory vigor or circulations in the thoracic cavity or in the lungs okay also it was helpful for the overall to maintain the health of liver and as well as kidney and also it can boost the reproductive functions that is the development of the reproductive organs or development of the secondary sexual character that was also increases or grow or maintain under the influence of the progesterones another effect so it was in the immune system it can increases the anti inflammatory activity it means it is helpful for to avoid the inflammations in the our body and also in cardiovascular system it can decrease the blood pressure that is one of the beneficial effect of the progesterone it means any abnormal concentration or ratio in the progesterone and estrogen so that was responsible for to cause of the hypertension because both level was normal if the progesterone level is decreases and estrogen level is increases mean definitely so that lady is suffering from the hypertension but due to presence of the progesterone the blood pressure was the normal also it can protect the cervix from the infections especially it acts on the vagina so where it is secreted so then it can protects from the microbial infections also in uterus it can inhibit the contractions during the pregnancy it mean the progesterone it can avoid the premature labor if the progesterone level is less in the pregnant woman means the premature labor is occurs and also it will be having the effect on the breast so where it can reduce the tenderness and as well as the cyst formation so that was helpful for to improve the functions of the mammary gland so these are the regarding the physiological effect of the estrogen and as well as the progesterones